Hi, everybody. This is Jose Lambert with Archer Travel Group, and I want to welcome you to the uh, weekly training webinar. Uh, this week, it's the importance of follow-up. I know that's a big, big sign up there. It says follow-up, and it's and it's not that your monitor is messed up. That's just that the guy's out of focus in the back there. But this is going to be a really uh, good webinar because I, I I'm a real I, I like to do this and I follow up and that's really the makings of a very successful travel agent consultant is when you have very good follow up. So it's really important that you follow these steps. Uh, so please grab a piece of paper, a pen or a pencil to take down some notes and let's start with the importance of follow up. Follow up. Okay. Here's a little travel agent fact. According to Travel Agent Magazine, travel agents lose three out of four clients because they never follow up. That's three out of four clients. Okay? Did you know that 79% of leads are never followed up? And I tell you, it's just a basic thing, all right? You got to answer your phone and you got to have a good voicemail system. I don't know how many times people call me in this office asking for help and assistance, and I call them back, and either their mailbox isn't set up or their mailbox is full, and I cannot leave a message. If you're going to be successful as an agent, people need to get in contact with you right away and you have to be back in contact with them right away so there's no excuse for you know um, and all you guys all have the new technology you all have cell phones and smartphones and iPhones and and tablets and all that so yeah you know set up the mailboxes make sure that it's functioning and it's working and make sure you answer your phones and follow up uh, that's how you're gonna be successful okay now let's talk about the travel agent three steps. You know, there were, you know, there's two steps. Well, the travel agent usually has three steps. We have the pre-travel, the travel, and the post-travel. So let's talk about each one of these. In the uh, pre-travel, we have qualify, uh, research, the follow-up, quote, booking, the follow-up, prep the client for travel. The travel, we have the cruise, all-inclusive tours or whatever, and we have the post-travel, the follow-up. Okay, stay in touch. Stay in touch always. All right, let's talk about the first one, the pre-travel follow-up. Number one is qualify, 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 qualify. You guys know I'm a big proponent of that. That's going to save you so much time. If you, know how to, if you know how to qualify people properly and you know how to do it, you don't have to keep calling them back every you know, hour going, oh, yeah, what were those dates again? And what hotel did you want to stay in? You know, if, if you get all that together, you're boom, here's your quote, boom, thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Client, and we're, we're ready to go. So qualify, qualify, qualify. Now, so when you get your information, then you have to do your research. You have to find out where you're going to get that cruise or all-inclusive or trip that they want to do to Europe. And then you follow up with a quote. You call up Mr. and Mrs. Client, and you go, okay, I've got your quote. And if the quote's right, and if you match the budget, and if everything looks great, you'll get a booking. Woohoo! That means commissions are going to be coming in, and you, and you sold uh, the trip. Now, you still have to follow up with them. You don't just, you know... <laughs> Uh, you guys, it's not just, you know, s selling it and then that's it, okay? Then you have to follow up with them and, you know, use the resources in your booking portal. Show them where the TCA rules are. Show them how what, what's going to happen when they get to the airport. You know, show them the TCA rules so Mrs. Client knows exactly how much liquid ounces she can carry on her purse and she doesn't get stopped during the, uh, you know, as she goes through the, uh, the big x-ray machine. So you prep your client for travel. Right, and then they go on their trip, whether it's a cruise, all inclusive, or a tour to Europe, or you know, going to Hawaii, or whatever. Now they're on their trip, and as you can see here, there's Paris, there's a cruise, there's New York. Okay, so they're on their trip now. If something happens, of course, because you've built value in you and using you as a travel consultant agent, that you will assist them if they run into any problems, and you really have to tell them that when they go. I don't know why I, <laughs> I know some clients that oh no 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 that was okay you know. Our room was, you know, we wanted a balcony, but we got two rooms. No. If, if something's not right, they should contact you right away. And then we'll be in contact with the suppliers or the companies, who, the, whoever we're booking with, to get the problem solved so they can continue having their great, their great thing, you know, their great vacation, cruise, whatever that they, that they purchased from you. So, again, you have the assistance. Now, this is where travel agents drop the ball, okay? Oh. Where is number three? All right. Okay. How to follow up with your clients. On the return, clients are very excited, and you have to use that, okay, because they're all excited. Oh, my God, we just got back from, from Venice, and we went to Paris and Rome, and blah, 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 right? Uh, or, or, you know, we went as, uh, 
you know, eight nights in Hawaii on a cruise. It was princess. It was beautiful. It was great. Oh, my God. Right. You wait two days. You give them 48 hours after they arrive because they usually, when they arrive, they're tired. They're a little exhausted and stuff. So give them two days and then post number three, post travel to follow up. And this is where the majority of travel agent consultants drop the ball and this is where they lose out on a lot of business. Right here, number three, because they won't do this. All you got to do is ask the following questions, okay? How was the trip? And just say, tell me, how was the trip? Listen and take notes. Just, oh yeah, great, 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 great. Were there any likes or dislikes? Okay? Find out. If there was a major problem and they didn't contact you, ask them, why didn't you contact Well, we didn't want to bother you. And no, I'm your travel agent. I told you to contact me if you ran into any problems. All right? The likes and dislikes. Well, I didn't like the room. You know, the room that we booked in Venice was supposed to be with Veranda, but we didn't have, okay, why? And then we can go back to the suppliers and we can find that out. Were you informed on anything? Did I give you the right information? Okay? Um, just cover yourself. Did I misinform you on everything? How was that? I don't know. Did you take any photos and videos? Okay. Yeah, of course they did. And then you ask them, can I use some of those photos? You know, I don't necessarily need to have you a Mr. and Mrs. Klein, but if you have any landscape photos of Paris or Venice, can I mention that you guys just got back and can I put those photos on my Facebook page to promote my business? You see what I'm talking about, you guys? How this kind of all works in circles? Okay, and now that you've known your clients so well, and you know that they like, you know, Royal Caribbean, or they like, you know, Princess, or they like, you know, the all-inclusive um, at the um, in Dreams in Cancun, you know, oh yeah, you know, would you know, I'll ask them, would you like to go back and do it? Oh, would love to go back and do it again. Really? Okay, great. So now that you have all this information, you know what they like and don't like. Now you have a full year or four or five months, and when you see something that's really, really good, you use that information that they gave you to book future travel trips and look for specials and sales and promotions on those trips. That's when you call them back in four months and go, hey, you know what, Mr. Client, um, you know, Princess, you know, you guys had the mini suite. I can get you the big suite on this one sale on Princess because I just saw the promotion come down. I saw that. You want me to book that? For yeah, book it. Book, book, you see? And that's an easy booking for you. That is an easy booking for you guys, okay? So basically, follow up, you'll get more business. More business means more cash in your pocket, all right? Now look, if you don't follow up, right, follow up often with your clients or you know what? Another travel agent will, and you'll lose that client. So you guys, you know, really, you know, answer your phones, you know, empty out those mailboxes. I never want to hear another when I call someone from this office and go, oh, mailbox is full. Can't leave a message. I mean, that just, that, that kills me. I'm trying to help you guys. And, and this is the way. If you follow these steps, if you follow these steps, you, you see how, what an easy booking it is after you. They come back and you look for a promotion. You call them up going, hey, you know what, Mr. Client? You know what? It's on sale. Boom. It's done. <laughs> it's five minutes. And you made $500 on the commission. See, that's what a good travel agent consultant does. All right, you guys, as usual, if you've got any questions or comments right below here, there is a white box. You can put in your question, comment, or remark, and we'll get back to you as quickly as we can. Uh, have a great day, everyone, and talk to you soon.